but th- there is something we're not overstating it now. There is, is something happening with football in this country, and it's clearly a very organic thing because it's not like the government or the FEI have been in a position to pump loads of money in or or, or billionaire owners have pumped loads of money in. It is something more organic than that. What What is your sense of what's been happening over the last couple of years? Why is it happening? Hard work in terms of organic, yeah. Like there is that. Like, there's definitely a sense. There's, I think there's definitely a sense post COVID coming out of COVID as well. There was that initial burst, and that would have been some of the skepticism around it a little bit. In terms of thinking, well, will will this continue? You know, but it has. But then on the whole, and maybe just looking at it from the, through the prism of St. Pat's, because obviously we're not talking about the cup final, and even with balls, and everyone knows what the work has been done. But like you just you just speak to people, and like I did a piece. I actually did a piece before COVID finished. Uh, sorry, before COVID had started. And it was uh, Ian Birmingham, who was then the Pats captain, and he was going in with one of the youth players uh, at Pats into a school in Ballyfermot. And obviously that's where Ian Birmingham, Birmingham was from. And like that wouldn't have always been something that would naturally happen, where it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been. It's the most obvious thing in the world that the captain of your club, who has had success and um, is from the area, where you would have him in speaking to kids for a whole day and doing training sessions out in the yard and having the crack with kids and doing Q&As with kids. And I just shadowed it for the, for an article that I was writing. And this is before COVID. So this work has been going on even before then as well. And obviously I had to stop a little bit through COVID. And I just, again, even from speaking to the people who I know, I say Pats and even at other clubs, it's Bows and, and Rovers. And I know this is very Dublin-centric I'm speaking here, but mm. you can be sure it's happening in Cork and it'd be happening in Sligo as well. There's just that sense where clubs are realising, have been realising now over the next little while, that the only way forward, especially through all these initiatives, is realising that it's about community and that it's about understanding that football fans, when you go to a match, there's only so much success that can go around. Do you know what I mean? So that's not what's going to keep people coming back. You might have a season out of nowhere where you deliver something and that will maybe hook a few people. But once that tapers off, by and large, and as we've seen, it's going to fade away. That's just what happens in sport, whether it's the GAA, whether it's rugby, whether it's football, and including in different countries. Like Sometimes going to, going to see a team is the biggest chore you could imagine. But it's part of what you do, it's part of who you are, it's part of your growing up and your experiences. It's part of now, I mentioned my nephew earlier, where like, he's wrecking me, me brother-in-law's, his dad's head, making sure he's home from work to make sure he's going to watch UCD at home on a Monday. You know, that never would have happened before. 